All right, so this is our uh, Love Essential Organizing Toy Hammocks. It comes in a pack of two. Really small. I was like, wow, that's really small. Um, I, I used the scissors to open the top. Uh, fortunately, I didn't cut any of the, uh, the cordage here. So let's see how big these are. So you're going to use anchors in the, on either side of the corner. And then this piece goes in the actual corner. Here are the anchors. So you'll pre-drill your holes to put the anchor uh, in for drywall. If you have a stud right there, you just, just screw that directly into the stud. You got one little pack for each. Pause it and we'll go find a good location. All right, so we've picked our location. And when you're in a corner, the nice thing is in that corner on one side or the other, or hopefully both if your house was built well, there should be a stud there, so you're not going to need to use the drywall anchor. Um, so let me get this bag open. And then the, the thing I like about these hammocks is they use an elastic, which allows it to be adjustable on the length. So what I mean is you got your corner piece. It's going to go here. And then wherever the stud is, you can go here or you can go further away. Right? And then the further away you go, the less play there will be in the bottom of the hammock. The closer you are, the more play there will be in the bottom of the hammock. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick my location, my height. I want my kids to be able to get into it. I wanna be above our little uh, heat pump slash air conditioner here. So I'm gonna put this first one here and you can pre-drill if you think you need to. This isn't that deep, it'll get through uh, the drywall and then it'll start penetrating the, um, the stud. I'm just going to try to get it in, and you can pause it. Right now? Yep. Well, you can see I've, all, all the threads are inside the drywall. I'm going to keep going. If you're in a stud, get pretty tough there. I'm going to go all the way till the curvature, and then I'll stop right there. So now, I've got my corner established go and then I need to pick my next location I'm gonna come straight across and I haven't trimmed this window out yet can you see this camera lady I haven't trimmed this window out yet so I'm gonna put it where I know there's a stud and then when I trim it out I can just re, re uh, reinstall the, the hook here so I'm gonna find my spot push through the paper and start screwing it into pause it I got that one Find my last spot. And on the doors here where they're already trimmed out, that stud might not be here. It's going to be back under here, so I'm going to angle it. Or you could even use the trim if it's good solid trim. I'm going to just try to angle it. And the nice thing, of course, angling it is it's in the direction that it's pulling to. Of course, hopefully we don't put too many uh, stuffed animals that it pulls these out. Right, girls? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, pause it. So I'm going through this one, and I can feel there's, there's, I'm hitting nothing. I'm through the drywall, it's but blurry. now, huh? It's blurry. It's blurry. We'll tap the screen. Did it, Did no. it focus? No, no, there we go. Perfect. Camera lady's working through some technical difficulties. Oh, uh oh, see how easy that spins? That's really good. easy spin. So I'm not hitting anything. Let me keep pushing. See if I hit a stud. There should be one there. If, if this is long enough to reach it, it's starting to get some resistance. Oh, good. Because I really don't like using those drywall anchors if I don't have to. You always want to hit a stud if you can. And I am just hitting it. And I'll have just, if you come, come close, I'll just have enough space there to put uh, my hook here. Whoa, that's a little too close. <laughs> Be, you can see the pores in my skin on that, huh? So we'll just be able to get that in there. And uh, it, and actually, I can go a couple twists back this way. And that will allow me to go a couple more turns uh, with it in. Good. All right. Pause it. We'll get the... We're going to start loading this up. What, what's this one's name? Popsicle. Popsicle. Okay. And Pete. this one's Pete the Cat. I know that one. <laughs> and we've got Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse. 
I think I knew that one too. <laughs> What's this one? Baby Ronnie. Isn't this Sarge's favorite? No. Oh, he's got a different one. That's right. Let's see how much it drops. That's a heavy one. What's this? Treasure. Treasure. Wow, look how much it's dropping. Um, pumpkin. Pumpkin. Can go there with Minnie. Mint. Mint the frog. That's a good name for a, a mint green frog. Look, we're getting kind of close to this. I don't know. Who's this? I know this one. Olaf. Oh, yeah. Olaf's fun. This yeah. one's kind of heavy too. Old Blueberry. School. Blueberry. He got a red. Is this one strawberry then? Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> They're Look at brothers. Me it out. They're brothers. Blueberry and strawberry. I don't want uh, strawberries sitting on mint here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let's just do one more for now. And caramel. Caramel? Okay. But now, so this is a good demonstration. I probably should should have gone a little higher on this. Because you can see how the elastic, uh, you know, it's going to it's gonna go down a little bit. I'm okay with this, but I wouldn't want much more in it's there. It's still blurry, but I'm trying to tap it and won't get, like, on blurry. <laughs> okay. That's fine. What do you think? Camera lady, is that a good video? Yeah. Is that a wrap? Yeah. Subscribe if you like goofy stuff. <laughs> <laughs>